Hey Lions! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from today, September 2nd. Happy Labor Day if I get this posted before the evening happens. Um, this is from today, the 2nd, all the way through to the 11th. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you're experiencing directly or it could be attached to someone in your environment or someone who's energetically attached to you, okay? So just keep that in mind. And it is energy that we're working with, so it can be vice versa. OK, so also keep that in mind and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading. OK, so Leo's I, I, I had some interesting energy I was picking up for some of you guys. I feel like I was picking up on different groups of Leo's. OK, so just keep that in mind that this is the meditative session. So whatever messages come through in the reading might not pertain to all of you that I'm picking up on in the meditative session. OK, because usually in the readings, I get very specific messages. Sometimes I get different messages for different groups. So we'll just see what happens. But Leo. I was getting like circus energy, to be honest with you. I that was kind of interesting. They actually, sh it's like, I, I feel really weird about circuses. To be, I'll, I'm just one of those people. It makes me feel really weird. It makes me a little uncomfortable to like be at a circus. I, I haven't been at a circus since I was like a kid. Are they even allowed anymore? Actually, they might be banned now. I don't know. Anyway, has always made me feel a little weird. Um, but you know, like that bit, act, whatever you want to call it, where like animals get on a ball and they have to like balance. Makes, again, makes me very uncomfortable. And Leo's, I think this energy makes you very uncomfortable. Um, Leo's, some of you have been realizing that maybe you've been performing a little bit, um, that maybe you've been putting on a little bit of a show, maybe a little bit of a facade for either like a situation or maybe just like at work or in your relationship with other people as a way of kind of protecting yourself, as a way of kind of coping with the situation, whether that's just to deal with your relationship or just to deal with the environment you have to be in or the people you have to deal with. So take that as it resonates. Also, some of you Leos, I feel like you're seeing that you're in a circus, <laughs> that you're like, oh, <laughs> oh, what the hell is this about? You know, like maybe realizing that people around you are not very authentic or maybe realizing that people around you are performing for you or putting on a little bit of a, of a, of a facade for you. And you're kind of over that shit. You know what I mean? It's kind of like seeing through the bullshit. So like I said, I've covered a lot of different stuff in a very short amount of time. So if you got to go back, you got to go back. When I get downloads, they just come in. They just come in real quick. I did also see a bat, actually. Very Batman. Like flying in the tunnel. Very, very, very Batman. Uh, it's a very transformative energy, Leos. And this realization is making you transform. It's bringing in a lot of new stuff for you as well because you're you're waking up to either realizing that you have some coping mechanisms to deal with people, your work, or your relationship that is not in your best interest because you're not being your authentic self. And it's not through any, through any fault of your own. Like I said, it feels like it was a coping mechanism for a lot of you who are resonating with that. You did what you had to do, right? You did what you had to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you're realizing, hmm, I could be in a much better position if I just don't have to do that, right? So you're transforming your ways, your coping mechanisms, either by changing your environment, the people in it, or maybe just not even, you know, or changing your relationship or getting out of a relationship, okay? Um, and for those where it's like you're seeing the bullshit, you're realizing it's almost like the, the switch of that, right? Where it's like the person you're with, the people you're around, like your friends or family or your work environment, what have you, you're realizing something about it's very fake or something about it's very false or inauthentic and that just doesn't resonate with you. And you're like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, this easy decision. I'm out, right? <laughs> so Leo's, I love that energy. But like I said, for some of you, it's realizing that you have to change within yourself while others are realizing that you have to make an external change here, okay? All right, almost called you Libra. By the middle of the Libra, you get a Libra in your chart. Um, that was crazy. So anyway, Leo, let's go ahead and get into your reading here. For those who are new to tarot and new to my channel, please keep in mind there's a very, very general readings. Not all messages will resonate with everybody, and that's okay if this week it's not your message. Just wasn't meant for you. Just wasn't meant for someone else. A lot of readers here on YouTube you can check out if you are not jiving with me or jiving with a message. Keep in mind, whenever you're meant to watch this is when you're meant to watch this. Time is not linear, okay? So even though it has like a, you know, a timeline, timeline um, on this read, it's energy, it's more for organizational purposes for me personally as the content creator. So just know that as well. And as I already said, we're working with energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa. So keep that in mind that if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, that's totally okay. It's resonating. Just switch the roles. Um, also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay. All right, Leo, let's do this. Also, sorry, one last thing. I always forget. If you have any other questions or curiosities or confusions, and how to interpret these readings as a viewer, please check out the link below. Okay, now we'll get started, Leo. 
Any messages for Leo? <laughs> Any messages for Leo regarding love from today to September 11th? I, I had a really weird visual. I don't even want to, like, say it. Um, it had to do with boxing, and I heard, get him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe some of you guys are taking up boxing. Some of you guys could be taking up boxing. Uh, oh, interesting. Some of you are taking self-defense classes. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Do it. Not No reason not to. That's what I always say. Like, you know, it's funny. Like, you know, like, people always come to you for advice. Or, like, you know, you would, like, talk with your friends. And you ask your advice from your friends. Or friends ask, as, ask advice from you. And it's, you know, and sometimes when I get that question, like, should I do this? It's like, I feel like that's always my response. Like, is there a reason not to? <laughs> I think that's actually okay some of you had to hear that some I just felt that some of you guys had to hear that um whatever you're thinking about doing is there a reason not to do it like is there a good reason not to do it okay any messages from my leos regarding love from now ooh, until September 11th I'm getting inspirational energy too leos it's kind of interesting very like fiery wands energy a lot of inspirational energy you might be inspired to cause this change not just through your revelation but maybe there's like someone or your guides or your own intuition is making you see the circus that you're in or a part of or around because like i said some of you are realizing you're like there's circuit like circus people around you inauthentic people around you others you're realizing you've been having a coping mechanism to deal with a situation um i feel like some of you this is being shown to you through an through, I almost feel like an ally they're like an aid or an ally could be just like i said a spirit guide your own intuition uh your higher self uh, or it could be like a friend a family member or lover helping you to see this any messages for leo regarding love from now until september 11th any messages for leo regarding love from now until september 11th i just heard child's play maybe you're watching that <laughs> why, why am i hearing child's play You're not a child, Leo. That's what I'm getting. You're not a child. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, Leo, some of you feel like you're you're dealing with children. You're dealing with some immature bullshit. And you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm not playing this game. I'm not a child. I like it, Leo. Let's see what we have here. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. There's something you want, Leo. There's something you want. You're not going for it. Sorry, itchy. Hold on. Sorry, my nose itches like crazy when I channel. Okay. Okay. Leo, there's something you clearly want. Ace of Wands. You got a lot of passion, got a lot of desire to go for something and something new. It does feel like something new. Again, part of that transformative energy of like, I need to get the fuck out of this circus, right? Um, but Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're not going for it. You're hesitating. You're hesitating for some reason. I think some of you need to figure out how to wrap up the circus <laughs> before you can move on to whatever this is. To whatever this new thing is, so you have to wrap up the circus before you can do it. Or again, like I said, for those where you're realizing you have a coping mechanism of some kind, realizing you have to deal with that before you can really jump into whatever new environment or newness you want here or the new self, your new self, right? Any messages for Leos regarding love from now until September 11th? Wow. Yeah. World in reverse. Fixed energy. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Also Saturn controls Capricorn. Yeah, you're coming out of a major cycle here. You're ending the circus. And I'm sorry, but does this not look like circus colors? <laughs> I mean, this is actually a really awesome deck. For those who are curious, I, I tried pronouncing it in my... I'm like, uh, that blah, 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 blah. I tried pronouncing in all my other videos that I posted recently. I'll try again. Santa Muerte. I think that's how you say that i can't roll my r's i just can't so when there's a, like a r and a t next to each other in spanish i have a really hard time pronouncing it but this is the deck link is below for those who like it for yourselves get all my stuff on amazon so leo you're dying to go for something you're dying to you want it you know you want it you know you know it's in your best interest you know you gotta wrap some shit up though roll oh that's right it was in reverse i just wanted to show you the circus colors rolled in reverse you know you gotta wrap something up to do it you know you have to wrap something up before you can go get it go get it the person the thing whatever it is the new you any messages for leo regarding love from now until september 11th any messages for leo regarding love from now until september 11th and leo i feel like you've already been through quite some transformations here i feel like 
you've had months of like up and down, up and down that has made you a lot stronger and a lot more confident, especially everything that was going on in Leo season. Even Cancer season, I think, really helped Leos a lot. Um, but Leo, with Leo season, that really helped you build your confidence up to what makes you happy. And like I said, you know, it's all energy, guys. We all work through energy differently at different rates at different times in different ways, okay? So some of you have already done this and some of you just, you're at the tail end of the group where you're trying to, you know, follow through with this. Um, but it's almost like it's been little chunks, like little, not chunks. Why did I say chunks? Um, phases. That's the word. Phases. Like phase one through phase five of going from like a really kind of toxic, not so great environment or something that was just very stifling, something that felt like felt kept you held back or held down. Some of you it even affected your self-esteem. And it's been like, okay, tower phase one is over. Okay, cool. I got through that hurdle. I, I've grown a little bit. I'm a little stronger. Next tower, phase two. Okay, okay, all right. That was rough, but you know what? I'm even stronger than I was before. Phase three, phase four. We're in phase five. We're in phase five for some of you guys. Oh, 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 Leo. Seven of swords in reverse. Oh, Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy with the Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. Yeah. Whatever you've been dealing with, Leo, coping mechanism or whatever environment you're finding yourself in, whatever inauthentic people you're finding yourself around or person that you've been dealing with. Yeah. You realize that it's really sabotaged your happiness. Yeah. And you're tired of just not being fully happy. And God damn it, you're going to be fully happy. Any messages for Leo? For some of you, this is this is uh, translated into the home environment. So for some of you, this is just going on in your family. Others, it's just been so bad and so evasive that it's like, no matter where you go, even when you're home, you're not happy. Any messages for Leos? Any other messages for Leos regarding love from now until September 11th? Yeah, especially with the world card in reverse here, this is definitely the last phase. Last phase of you getting to where you're supposed to be. Six, yes. <laughs> newer deck, newer deck. Six of Wands in reverse, Jupiter, Leo energy. Overall energy, we do have, ooh, we got a Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy, so it's funny I said Libra. Libra energy could also be air or water. Underneath that, we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, Leos. Seven of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Holy shit. And then we've got a Knight of Cups. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Please focus. Please focus. There we go. And then we have the Emperor. The Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Leos. Overall, I feel a major plotting with the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups. A major plotting of showing emotion, coming in with love. Um, coming in with love or getting away? Hold on a second. Leo, this is interesting. Why do I... Leo's, because I feel like you're really in the Queen of Swords in reverse energy, where again, it's like you're tired of the fakeness, you're tired of ina inauthentic people, inauthentic relationships, inauthentic environments. Um, for some of you, like I said, it's like it's your own coping mechanism. It's like, okay, I need to do better. I need to improve, right? Some of you are trying to become an emperor is what I'm getting with this. Like for those who are dealing with your own coping mechanisms that maybe haven't been the healthiest, where you know you want to improve, right? That Seven of Pentacles, how do I invest in improving and maybe giving more love to myself out of a Queen of Swords energy of kind of like isolating yourself to do it, to level up, to become an emperor. Others, I gotta be honest, I feel, just calling it like I see it. I feel like you're plotting to kind of go towards an emperor here. And it's funny because I was feeling that ally energy. You have an emperor who's an ally. You have an emperor who's an ally here. Ally can mean a lot of things. Like I said, it can be a guide. Some of you, this could be a passed over father, grandfather figure, or like someone in your family who was very, um, uh, very influential when they were alive, whether it was just within the family or in their own in their own right. Um, it could be a lover. It could be a friend. It could be another family member. Um, but it's basically someone who has a lot, like someone who basically has been through a lot of shit, right? And because they've been through a lot of shit, they've been able to build a lot for themselves, right? This is someone who's paid their dues, essentially, emotionally, physically, financially. <laughs> the emperor has their own empire. Let me put it that way. The emperor has their own. They have their own. So Leo, some of you, like I said, some of you, this is just a self-growth self growth 
journey that you're putting yourself on to become better and to level up and to have more of your own. It's interesting. Yeah, to have more of your own. Others, you're trying to get out of a situation and head towards someone who has their own, who has a lot of, I'm hearing willpower, has a lot of willpower and wisdom. Thank you. They could also be older than you, not necessarily. Um, Emperor tends to be older or just wizened. Uh, either way, I feel you transitioning out of where you're at for self-growth purposes to level up to an, an emperor, almost an empire, emperor, or you're heading towards someone uh, who already has that status to further help you in finishing your transition, okay? And like I said, it could be lover, could be family, friend, what have you. It's an ally, an ally, which I really like seeing for you. But let's focus here because clearly you want something. <laughs> you want You want whatever this newness is. But you're holding yourself back. So let's see why you're holding yourself back with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel strongly it's because you're dealing with how to wrap up the inauthentic uh, inauthentic environments or relationships in your life. Or like I said, your own coping mechanisms uh, and how to battle that. So I'm with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I'm with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting, sorry, I'm like, they're bringing me back here. There's something very inspired going on here. Oh, and look at you. Now you're upright. <laughs> I'm going to keep you upright. I'm going to keep you upright. This emperor, there's a lot of inspiration coming off this emperor. A lot of inspiration coming off this emperor. Emperor could be could be female as well. I, I don't know. I feel compelled to say that. Emperor, the emperor could be female as well. I think some of you guys are wondering. Um, they could just be very in their very much in their masculine energy if they are female okay um because i feel like leo's for those where this is an ally or a friend family lover what have you i feel like you look up to them i feel like you look up to them like you can learn a lot that's what it is that you can learn a lot from them so i want that of pentacles in reverse for leo some of you this is like a pure business decision too is what i'm getting for some of you especially with that seven of pentacles Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. <laughs> Leo's Ace of Wands. It's very phallic energy as well, by the way. If very, very phallic energy as well. Um, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands double confirmation. So again, you really want it, but you're not taking action on it yet. You're not taking action on it yet. So I'm about Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh. Who is this? Who is this? Um, why does this feel like another person? Why does this feel like another person? So King of Swords in reverse. Again, really, really wanting something. Not talking about it. Not sharing it. Not sharing it. This is weird. Is this your higher self? What is going on here? This feels like another person to me because we do have the Queen of Swords here. We do have the Queen of Swords here, Leo. Oh my, okay. So Leo's, it's funny. Again, take this as it resonates. So Leo's, I feel like, like I said, you look up to someone, you're heading towards someone, whether it's because you're just inspired and they've got, they're getting you out of a situation, that sort of thing, or it's your own self-growth journey to become an emperor, male or female. And you want this. You definitely want this. You want out of whatever it is you're dealing with. You want to be it. You want to be around authentic people, authentic environments. You want to be your true authentic self, even if it means going through the hard, you know, rigmarole, not rigmarole, but hard deal of, of self-growth, right? You're willing to do that, but you know you've got to actually take the pause and actually do the shit, right? <laughs> Why do I feel like there's someone else who wants the same thing? Because we've got this queen, king and queen of swords here. Uh, true pair situation, true pair situation. Someone wants the same thing, Leo, but they're not saying it. So this is what's interesting. And remember, you came up reverse too, initially, which is like not sharing. This is so fascinating. Okay, Leo's why do I feel sexual energy all of a sudden? I feel a lot of sacral energy. Um, I feel a lot of sexual, sexual, <laughs> sexual. I feel a lot of sacral energy all of a sudden. Leo's, wherever it is you're heading towards, someone wants the same thing. 
And for some of you, could this be leaving a relationship to like an inauthentic relationship to go to an authentic relationship? Yeah, it absolutely could be. And I think for a lot of you, that's the case. <laughs> oh, man, for a lot of you, I think that's actually the case. It's yeah, it's almost like, like, two people are going like, they're on their own paths. And then like, boom, like crash collision. You know them, though. Okay, this is interesting. Leo's Whoever this is, some of you, the person you're inspired by, um, wants new for them as well, and you want new for yourself, your destinies might be more in interlocked than, than you realize. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry, I'm like, I'm a little baffled. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Is this a rom-com? What is this? Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Leo's, okay. Like I said, Leo, you're heading towards some of you. Jesus, I can't pick these up. Okay. Some of you are heading towards someone, an ally, that you feel very inspired by, right? Inspired by. You feel very inspired by. You can learn a lot from them. You're heading towards them. You weren't really saying anything before, and then you flipped up, which tells me that you're about to communicate something. Um, all the while not realizing that ally wants the same thing, and they're just not saying it. I'm excited, Leo. And there's a lot of sexual energy because my sacral's like on fire now. <sighs> Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo. Tell me about Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Leo regarding love. Leo's, what are you getting yourselves into? Hierophant, Taurian energy, last clarifier to come out here. Yeah, this person's not saying it either, but again, that learning energy, right? This is someone that that Leo's, you feel like you can learn a lot from. Yeah, I like I swear to God, Leo's, like you're inspired by them, you're taking advice from them, they're inspiring you to get out of your situation to go towards your new, right? For some of you, this is like I said, a business deal at that. Um, and the person that you're inspired by. You are learning a lot from and you will learn a lot from but they want the same kind of new that you do they're just not saying it and for a lot of you i do feel like this can be romantic okay uh overall energy we do have the page of swords <laughs> the page of swords there's a lot of watching there's a lot of watching going on here there's a lot of watching going on here a lot of spying a lot of spying um it's almost like that energy of like how do I say this? Like, okay, like, you know, those movies where it's like, they have like, like the friend and the bestie. And it's like, you know, the bestie gets into a relationship, and it's all toxic and shit. Uh, and then it's like, all of a, you know, then like the then the friend starts to help them get out of that relationship. And all of a sudden, it's like they become a thing, right? Because they actually want the same things. And they're cut from the same cloth, literally cut from the same cloth. Okay, Leo. Hey. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so can't hold cards today. See, all this sexual energy has me all frazzled. Okay. Anyway, like I said, they're they're definitely a teacher of sorts. You're definitely going to be learning a lot from this person, without a doubt. But I feel like you already know them because they're an inspiration for you. They're an ally for you in this situation. So let's look at the world in reverse here. I'm gonna use Gilded Tarot for this one. It's like, who are you? Do I put the world in reverse? Tell me about the world in reverse. Yeah, and Leo's, if this is just a journey of self gro self growth, you still have this ally acting as an inspiration that you're learning a lot from. And there's also a lot of watching. I just can't get off of that. There's a lot of watching, and I'm hearing admiration. Admiration. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse for Leo. Yeah, Six of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. The chaos of the fucking circus. Okay, the chaos of the circus needs to end. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse for Leo. Regarding love from now until September 11th. Ooh, well now we have a King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Yeah, I'm inauthentic fucking inauthentic okay so, sorry excuse my french um, king of, i've been 
curse on a lot since we hit Virgo season. So King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting emotional manipulation here. I got to be straight up. I'm getting emotional manipulation for sure. That's the circus that needs to end. What did I say about inauthentic? And Leo, some of you, I almost called you Virgo. Some of you could have that placement. You could be a cusper. Leo, some of you feel like you've had to put on a little bit of a facade here, play play the role, do the circus thing to keep things intact, and you're tired of that. You realize it's not the true you, you realize it's inauthentic, and that maybe some of you have been a little manipulated in this situation to do so, and you're like, no, I don't need to be doing this shit anymore, right? And like I said, others, you're realizing that you're around very inauthentic people, and definitely I'm getting manipulation. I'm sorry, I just am. Yeah, I'm getting emotional manipulation, very, very specific here, Okay. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the, <coughs> excuse me. Tell me about the world in reverse. Tell me about the world in reverse for Leo. Tell me about the world in reverse for Leo regarding love. Yeah, three of pentacles in reverse. You're done playing this game. Thir Capricorn energy. You're not going to cooperate with this shit anymore. You're not. Because especially I'm feeling with these inauthentic people, I think that's why you've had to do a lot of the work here, Leo. And I think that's also why I'm getting a little bit of fatigue, especially with the six of swords in reverse. Uh, because they're not cooperative with you and your needs. And you're like, fuck that. I'm important too. So I'm at the world in reverse. Wow. Yeah, time at the world in reverse for Leo. Jesus, Leo. Show you the cards that are coming out in a minute. Time of the world in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until September 11th. Okay. Got quite a few. Are you kidding me? All right. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy with the Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. And then we had, oh yeah, the Page of Cups in reverse and Temperance in reverse. Leo, all this tells me is that there wasn't a real foundation here. Or if there was, you were like the strong ass pillar holding it up and you're not doing it anymore. With all these pages, what did I say about childish? Like child's play, right? You could have kids involved in this. I really don't think so. Well, some of you might. Yeah, some of you might. Some of you might have kids involved in this that you might feel are being negatively affected. If you're feeling that way, you're right. That's what they're telling me. If you're really feeling that strongly, they're right. So just make sure that you're aware of that, okay? But you feel like you've been playing, you've been, you feel like someone's been playing with you. You feel like you've been dealing with a child. Uh, I'm getting a lot of just dishonesty, envy, jealousy, backbiting, gossip, snippety snappity comments. I like, it's just, it's all very childish. All the shit I'm picking up on. And you've been the one holding this up, right? Like, like trying to just get things right. And Leo's, that's the thing about you. You're very loyal. Leos are very, very loyal. It's one of the greatest qualities of Leos, but sometimes loyal to a fault, obviously, right? Sometimes loyal to a fault. With Temperance in Reverse, this has been a really, really imbalanced, and you know that. You know that. Overall energy, Hangman in Reverse, Piscean energy, Nine of Wands in Reverse, Sag energy. Oh, and look at that, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. You're not dealing with this anymore. You're putting down the fight, and you're moving on. You're moving on from this Five of Wands energy. Leo energy. You're moving on from the fight. You're not going to deal with the bullshit anymore. You're not going to deal with the circus. You're not going to deal with people trying to make you feel guilty for shit. You're just not, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. You're going to be your authentic self. You're not going to try to keep the peace because it's not in your best interest. Underneath that, look, we even have uh, the Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. I do feel like this is more your energy, Leo. You're done with it. You're done with it. You're turning your back to it. Turning your back to inauthentic people or an inauthentic relationship inauthentic coping mechanisms that are like coping mechanisms that make you feel like you're not being your true self right you're done with that you're done with that and like i said you definitely have an ally in this you definitely have an ally in this that's inspiring you to do it this watching energy is funny to me though there's a lot of admiration here there is between you and the ally so i just want to make sure you guys are with me you have an ally that's inspiring you, that's helping you out. It could be a family member, a mentor. Someone is just giving you a helping hand in, in making this transition a little easier, okay? Um, and like I said, you are learning a lot from them, especially with the hair font here. I feel like, again, they don't have to be older, but I just feel like they probably have more life experience. And it's interesting because it's almost like you guys are going through the same thing. Like, you're trying to go for the new, and so are they, but there's so much shared passion that I think a lot of you might actually end up being a lot closer if it's just like a co-worker, friend relationship, just a lot closer. Others of you, it's like you're leaving a, a, a romantic situation, entering right into a new one with this ally who's been there the whole time, is what I just heard. Ah, who's been there the whole time, is what I just heard. 
And you know, it's interesting because sometimes I've, I've seen readers describe the King and Queen of Cups this way, especially when there's a situation like this where it's like leaving someone for someone else. And you're not leaving someone for someone else. You're leaving because it's the right thing for you. The universe just has a sense of humor. <laughs> Sorry, it does. Um, this is usually described as like an emotionally manipulative uh, relationship that I've seen other readers go that route. And I, and I kind of get what they're getting at because like the King and Queen of Cups are masters of emotions. Because they're masters of emotions, they know how to deal with emotions within themselves and with others. You understand what I'm saying? So when you have a King and Queen of Cups, it can um, lean towards that if it gets to be a little festery, if it tends to become an imbalanced relationship. But the King and Queen of Swords, they don't do that shit. <laughs> you, you can't emotionally manipulate between these two. Like a King and Queen of Swords can do that to other people. They're really good at that if they want to go that route. Again, shadowy but they can't do that to each other because it's like, it's the mind, right? It's the mind, it's the mental. They know that game themselves. So they know when someone's playing that game with themselves, as opposed to if you're just in a heart space, you might feel intuitively like maybe something's rough off. This is knowing, knowing versus feeling, right? So these two can't play that game with each other. But anyway, anyway, getting off track. Okay, let's continue, let's continue, Leo, let's continue. Let's look at this last little segment here. So again, Seven of Swords in a verse, Ten of Cups in a verse, Six of Wands in a verse. I'm feeling that some of you, this coping mechanism that you've had for those where this is a self-growth journey and you have an ally inspiring you to do better, to level up, to become an emperor or empress, right? Um, you realize that whatever this coping mechanism, mechanism is has made you lose out on happiness because you've been playing the game too long, like you've been keeping up the facade with people or you've been trying to keep these inauthentic relationships or environment intact um, and it's really made you lose out. It's really made you lose out. I also feel for others of you where it's more like you're looking at the people you've been dealing with and realizing how inauthentic they are, that there's been a lot of stuff going on in the background that has really taken away from your happiness and you feeling successful, which is interesting that success came in here. Yeah. 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 Let's look at the Six of Wands universe. I was about to go for the Seven of Swords. I'm like, no. No, we're going to get such different stuff because it's different for all of you. Six of Wands in a verse. I feel like there, there's a need to recognize something. There's a need to recognize something here. Um, mm, mm. Spellcasters. We'll do spellcasters. And then we'll pull some advice. Tell me about Six of Wands in a verse. Tell me about Six of Wands in a verse. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo. Regarding love from now until September 11. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo regarding love from now until September 11th. Tell me about Six of Wands in Reverse for Leo regarding love from now until September 11th. Hold on a second. What do we got here? Hey, yeah. Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy, and the Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. It's time to go. That's what I just heard. It's time to go. That's what you're not recognizing, or that's what you need to recognize, is that Seven of Cups in reverse, you've done everything you can. You've tried every option you can to uh, improve these relationships, improve this environment, or to deal with, you know, have, you know, keeping your coping mechanism intact. Five of Swords in reverse, you can't keep up the game. That's literally not keeping up the game, not playing the game anymore. That's what you're failing. That's something that you need to recognize in this. And once you recognize this, you can start making moves to really get out of this. And you're not going to hold back on what you want anymore for yourself or just with this person that you're very inspired by. Um, time, time, yeah, it's over. It's done. Time to let it go. Time to stop playing the game. Or being a part of the circus. Let's just say that. Time to leave the circus behind. <laughs> okay. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. Tell 
I have the Six of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love from now until September 11th. So I have the Six of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love. So I have Six of Wands in reverse for Leo regarding love. And there's the world. Fixed energy. So Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Saturn, and also rules Capricorn. It's time for your new cycle. Oh, yeah. See, because look, three of swords, Libra energy. This is just too goddamn much. Okay? Because <laughs> this is just too much. Very much too much. Okay? And like I said, for some of you, it's like, it's not, it's kind of a third party situation, but not really. Because like, okay, so third party situations, it's not always cheating, guys. It's not always cheating. It can also be like, someone works a lot and they like their work that like someone can make work their mistress um it could be a meddling family member third parties are just meddling external energies and they're not always people sometimes they're habits or things that we love and care about okay so just keep that in mind but it kind of is turning in the, into that a little bit because you have this person you're inspired by and then you have the circus an entity onto itself even if it's a multiple people in that that you're trying to get away from. So you're trying to get away from the circus, but you're trying to head towards your your person that you're inspired by, your ally. So it's like, there kind of is three entities, so to speak, involved in this. But either way, you're going to a whole new cycle. You're going into a whole new cycle and you're just done with the bullshit. You're just done with the bullshit. You're done with the circus. So I'm with the six of wands in reverse. So of the six of wands, I just heard choose. Leo, it's time to make a choice. It's time to make a choice to really fully close the curtain on the circus uh, and to head towards your person that you're inspired by because you are going to learn a lot from them. You definitely will. You definitely will. So I have a six of wands in a verse. So I have a six of wands in a verse. Okay. Last card out. Ace of swords, man. You know. You know, Leo. Look at all that fire. <laughs> You know, you know that this is right for you. You know, leaving the circus behind is right for you. Um, leaving the pain of this, the discomfort of this, the fatigue of this. It's, you've just had enough. You've just had enough. It's time to be your, your authentic self. It's time to deal with people who are who are their authentic selves. And I'm not saying that you're not yourself. I'm just saying we all improve, right? We all have periods where we're improving. Overall energy, three of pentacles. Yep, Capricorn energy. Time to, time to work with people who want to work with you, right? Time to have that kind of environment, work environment, relationships, family environment, what have you, where there's reciprocity there and people are working towards the same goal. What did I say? The same goal. You and this inspired person, inspired person, you and this person you're inspired by want the exact same thing, the exact same thing. So it's funny, how, again, it's funny how the universe works. They're inspiring you to get out, right? So it's like, you're doing your maneuvers to get out. And once you get out, boom, you guys are wanting the same thing anyway. It's just going to happen. It's just going to naturally fall into place. And that is how the universe works. Okay. All right, Leo. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. Hi. Any advice for my Leos? Any advice for my Leos regarding the spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Leos regarding this spread? Keep in mind, guys, this emperor ally of yours, it could literally just be a mentor. It could literally just be a mentor with the Hierophant, an emperor with the Knight of Cups. Um... But like I said, for some of you, it is it is actually a romantic interest. So just take it as it resonates. It's an ally that's inspiring you. That you're destined to learn from. And I feel like it's mutual. I feel like you both will learn a lot from each other. Um, yeah, but in this moment, it seems like, oh, ha! We got the bats. Oh, yeah, I love when that happens. Um, sorry, and like that totally distracted me. ADD. Um but you know when it, in relationships where we learn a lot from each other you kind of take turns sometimes or it's like one person's learning a lot and the other person learns a lot and blah 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 anyway <laughs> sorry bobcat spirit life is a mystery with the vibration of eight and bat spirit a rebirth is assured 
Mm -hmm. The energy of five and moth spirit. Surrender. Surrender now, Leo. 39 breaking down to a three. I love that bobcat spirit is out here too. So Leo, again, it couldn't be clear. It's what, what did I say? The universe works in funny ways. Life is a mystery. You are heading towards success. You're heading towards peace and stability. You're heading towards peace and stability. And you just have to trust that that's what's at the end of this. And if you really follow your gut here, which I, you're doing, you're very clearly doing, um, and follow where your happiness really lies away from the circus, you're going to be successful and you're going to be abundant. It's just happening in an unexpected way, okay? Because then we have that spirit. Like I said, you're transforming. This whole process is transforming you. The person, Your ally here who's inspiring you is really transforming you, but you got to surrender to it. You actually have to give into the process of like, okay, it is time to leave the circus, time to close up shop, time to drop the curtain, take down the circus open sign. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Even if it's hard, it's time. Let's see what else we have here. I'm trying not to bang on the table so much. Sorry, I know I do that a lot. <laughs> Any more advice for Leos? Any more advice for Leos regarding this spread? Ah! <gasps> Oh, I'll show you guys in a second. It's my favorite card. I know you can already guess it. Any other advice for my Leos regarding this spread? The universe is funny, man. Oh, wow. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Okay. They had to take it there. They had to take it there. Oh, otter spirit. You're never alone. 42, bring it down to a six. And starfish spirit open to infinite possibilities. 59, bring it down to a five. There's your ally. There's the person you're inspired by. The person who's got your back. The person who, who will mentor some of you. The person who will just help you grow. A person that some of you might end up in a romantic relationship with or just become a bestie with. Either way, your, def your, your relationship with this person, because you definitely know them. They're not like a stranger. You know them. Uh, whoever they are, they really are a true ally. They really have your best interests at heart. They really are a kindred spirit. And you feel that you feel that down in your core. Some of you, I think, have also been resisting that and like not surrendering to that as well. Because once you do, you know that there's no, how do I say this? Once you surrender to knowing that, that you're basically like a kindred spirit with your allied person here, um, you're cut from the same cloth and they get you and you get them. There's no not seeing the circus once you hit that point. I think deep down you know that leo but once you surrender to that oh my god that with starfish right next to it there are so many different ways this connection with you and your ally can go because they're really inspiring you to break out of where you are and to chase down what you want for yourself this connection is opening so many doors for you just in the fact that there's a lot of inspiration behind it there's a lot of inspired energy between the two of you. I feel a lot of creative energy. Like I said, I was on a lot of sacral energy as well. Have fun with that, by the way, um, for those that that resonates with. But this ally is going to open so many doors for you because it's just going to help you grow and it's just going to help you learn. It's going to help you evolve. And whatever comes between you and your ally, again, whether it's just friends, besties, or it's a stronger connection with you and someone in, within your family um, or someone at work, or it be, like I said, it becomes like a new love interest. It's going to open so many doors for you. You're going to learn a lot, Leo, and you already know it. You know it, just surrender. You already know it. Okay, overall energy. You ready for this one too? Nightingale spirit, love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five. Got a lot of fives here, Leo, but you got a lot of change going on too, so I'm not surprised. The three five cards, bat, starfish, and nightingale spirit. You guys also know how I feel about this card. This card is usually like my two of cups, lover, six of cups connection, okay? Oh, there it goes. This card is usually my cue as a reader, just for me as a reader, it's not explicit, that there's basically a very significant love interest at play here. And again, some of you are leaving a relationship. Some of you are. Some of you, it's not just about leaving the environment. Some of you, it's not just about bet um, bettering your own, like getting rid of your coping mechanisms for shit. Some of you really is about just like a leaving a relationship. And it's interesting to me that it's like your ally came up with this and overall you have significant love interest here underneath that spider spirit make your dreams real manifestation energy holy shit horse spirit so many freaking amazing cards here horse spirit freedom is yours you're breaking free leo but what's crazy to me is that you have the only two cards in this whole deck that even relate directly to love for me as a reader the only two 
And this one is more of just like that soul kindred spirit, right? But we have a manifestation energy backing this significant love interest. And then we have all these like opportunities, doors opening very, very much like, hey, here, here's where you're supposed to go and like to help you evolve and create. And then you get freedom. Underneath that, you have wolf. Turn knowledge into wisdom, right? Wizened. What did I say? Wizened. You'll be learning a lot from this person. Leo, I have to be honest. I feel like this person was manifested. I don't know why. No, I do know why. That's why. I feel so strongly this person was manifested, especially because you both want the same thing. You both want the same thing. You're both striving for the same thing. It's like you both have kind of gone through similar journeys at the same time. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Some of you manifested this ally. Some of you manifested this ally. Some of you definitely manifested this ally. And it's leading to a hell of a lot of freedom for you. It's going to help you grow in so many ways, Leo, which is really beautiful. I have to say, it's really beautiful. That's really stunning energy. And they really have your back. They really have your back. And you know they do. You know they do. Wow, Leos, I loved where this went. When I first started tapping into your energy, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, I need something good for my Leos. And this is beautiful. Just remember, you got to just surrender to it. Just surrender to it. It's it's going to change you in so many ways for the better. Okay? All right, Leos. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Namaste, Leos.